What is going on everyone? My name is Boyd and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology The Titans action. Full speed here. Moving red hot along, spawning in the bottom of the map in the purple color, playing as Loki. His name is Mechanics. Mechanics the great, Mechanics the wise. Mechanics the teammates. He's got a, uh, a Demantis in the center of the map here. Gonna be very happy about that one there, playing Hades in the middle here. In the yellow color is Demantis. And then finally, rounding out the team in the uh, teal color, playing as Poseidon. An interesting lineup here for UCA. The Yuka clan themselves. Uncrappables is actually the full name. His name is Matrius. Their opponents today in the blue color playing as Hades. His name is Player. His partners today in the green color playing as Loki. His name is Squash. And then finally rounding out this team in the red color playing as Ra. His name is Gold Lion. The map is Anatolia. This map was picked by F2, so we may not see a Mediterranean game in this Losers Finals for the Phoenix Reborn Championship. Team Game Championship. This is the Losers Finals. What does the Losers Finals mean? Well, effectively, it means that the winner of this goes on to play DoD, and the loser of this packs up and goes home. Goes home for the winter. Or the summer. I don't even know what it is. That's, that's the life. Anyways, it is 4.30 in the morning for me. I do have people who live in my house. So I will hope you understand that I try and keep my voice slightly down in this game. But we're still going to be excited about this. Because these are the two... These are two of the best clans to have ever played the game. And <laughs> this is the highest level age mythology I think we're ever going to see. Uh, wait. Huh? What? 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 <laughs> Demantis. He drops a storehouse over here on one pine tree. This guy is an absolute madman. An absolute madman indeed. All right, we'll see how things are going to eventuate here in this game. Uh, if you do recall, there was a UCA versus F2 game. No, UCA versus DoD game on this map where DoD absolutely destroyed uh, absolutely destroyed UCA with a feed strategy where they fed the Loki uh, around about 2,000 food. So this player up in the top of the map, this is uh, going to be obviously player here, or uh, the Poseidon player, they get the full access to as much of the fish as possible. You actually can get yourself 18 fish here or 21 fish if you, if you, um, if you make the early game correct. Uh, and you can actually feed the Loki player because you don't need that food that that much. Yes, you'll fall a little bit behind if your opponent doesn't do the feeding of their own Loki, but the Loki is going to be so much more in front. So we'll see how everything is going to be shaping up here. I don't think anyone's quite advancing yet. I think the, the standard play here is going to be more of a 5.15 advance time uh, rather than, than anything too quick. No one's too crazy here in this game. We do see the temple coming up on this side here for Demantis. An interesting question is going to be, will Demantis go Athena or Ares here? Uh, if we remember, I think there was an attempt by, I can't remember which team it was. I think it was Yuka to Ares rush the Poseidon, no, Ares rush the Loki player and find some advantages where that's concerned. As Demantis has actually stolen some fish away from uh, from Gold Lion over here. It's Gold Lion searching for those extra little fishing spots up on this location over here, but he's not actually gone there just yet. So we'll see how things are going to go. Gold Lion is spamming out all of the docks here, and he's going to, I actually reckon he's going to be in for a pretty difficult time here against, uh, against Demantis. Demantis is Hades, and he's playing Greek, and Greek has got an advantage on water, just straight up against Ra. Uh, yes, Ra does have some big, big economic boosts, but still, that's the way uh, it kind of works here as Tar coming through. 4.30 advance here. As this villager here drops the uh, the house, we are starting to see some upgrades here as Mechanics goes through 4.30. We see Athena, we see Hermes for uh, 
for Matrius here, so nothing too crazy. We see Athena coming through, we see Forseti coming through, and Vitar coming through. So nothing too crazy here. Just a very, very standard stuff. Now, I do think that there's this crazy play as we do actually see a, a wild relic here, a Osberg Wagon. There is this crazy play that Goldline can do with Shifting Sands on Squash's, uh, Squash's Herso here to really catch someone out. Uh, we'll see if that's something they want to be doing here in this game as Mechanics is going to drop uh, a whole bunch more of these long houses down, another house coming up, and now the Trireme are going to start being made here uh, as Demantis is moving in onto this location over here. We'll see how things are going to be going here as the Minotaur moves in onto this location. Are we going to start taking this one down? We do see the boat starting to come out for Matrius. Player, on the other hand, he is sitting a little bit back as he's start now starting to move forward. He will be greeting the trireme of Matrius. Player not paying it. Oh, sorry, Matrius not paying attention there. Loses a little bit of HP. Going to be pulling back as now we're going to start seeing those Hursa moving way, way forward on this location. We've got the... Uh, Got the Hursa all coming out for Squash. Squash is going to be playing very, very defensive here. He drops all of the Longhouses in his base here. So he's playing this one very defensive. And that's going to give Mechanics a really, really big edge in this game to decide where he wants to go. As Squash's first Hursa does get spotted there. Nice play. Spy gets dropped though. And the Relic does get spotted there. Is he going to pick that Relic? up and he walks past it and everyone's sad as hall of thanes is now on the way for mechanics he's going to have a big big advantage with that with that hall of thanes here however gold lion and squash going to be going at each other here in this game is going to be really 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 difficult to call loki versus loki is a uh it's a difficult matchup for sure as <laughs> loki versus loki is a bit of a coin flip in the end as we do see the wadget now trying to take down the minotaur over here as Gold Lion sitting back on this location, going to be looking to push through Demantis here in the near future. We are now starting to see a player getting awfully close onto this dock here. Matrius needs to garrison in this dock here to get some arrow fire going as he is pulling ever so slightly back here. We'll see if he's going to be able to find some sort of an advantage on this location as the Hursa are going to be swinging around here. Squash has got his own... Uh, Squash, oh, I should say Mechanics has spied Squash's Hursa here as Mechanics is trying to sneak around, but he's going to have to realize that his Hursa are spied here in this game as we see what is this. Squash has managed to push forward and he has found Mechanics' houses over here. He's found his houses. He's stopping the armory from getting uh, built up here as the Hursa four mechanics are going to be coming back in and you can't be taking a fight down population here with Loki because you do not get myth unit spawns nice play here from mechanics to judge that pull back ever so slightly we are going to be seeing squash retreating back ever so slightly as the mechanics uh, Hursa are getting some good damage done squash now gets himself uh, the the upgrade Hall of Thanes here and he will be able to get away no problems still very very close Gold Lion here doing his best to try and defend against uh, the Trireme of Demantis. His goal in this matchup is to effectively go equal on water. Do not lose water is everything here for Gold Lion. Same two for player, same two for Matrius. They just want to be hoping and praying their Loki wins this game for them. That's exactly what needs to be happening here as we do see all the Hursa pulling back. There's the Armory coming up. There's the Bragi coming through already for Mechanics as the uh, Copper Mail is coming through. And you have to ask this question... How has Mechanics been able to afford 23 Hursa and a, and a 9 minute 30 Heroic Age here as Squash now chucking down a Town Center in this location here. Going for a second Town Center really, really early here in this game. I don't see an Armory up just... Oh, he does have an Armory up here and we do see Bragi indeed coming through for Squash. A slight edge right now for Mechanics as both players here are just going to grab their second Town Center. It's very, very, very mirror-ish at this point where both players just decide to do exactly the same things here as players trying to move forward in onto this fight. Matrius getting a slight advantage over here as we do see the restoration getting dropped by player here as Matrius says, I don't care about your restoration. I'm going to continue to fight this one. It's still really close on the numbers. In fact, I think maybe, just maybe, uh, Matrius has got a slight edge here as he does get this dock up on this location over here. The army of Mechanics is going to be pushing forward here. We do have exactly the same stats here for these Hursa as Mechanics is going to be retreating back ever so slightly here with his Hursa ready to 
to start taking the uh, taking the fight over here uh, nicely as Squash is trying to micro this one to the best of his ability. Both players with tons, absolutely tons of Hursa here, retreating uh, retreating back ever so slightly right now as Bronze Mail is coming through for Squash. Bronze Mail also going to be coming through for Mechanics as, as soon as, well, I mean, there's going to be a slight advantage here for Squash if he fights right on the tech uh, hitting uh, hitting full here, but both players just, they don't want to fight here. They want to wait and, well, I mean, if Squash can just hold a little bit, then you do get a little bit of an edge here as we do see the, uh, the, the flaming weapons coming down. You can just ceasefire that, right? Just, just ceasefire that. That's a huge mistake by Squash. We see Mechanics just retreating though. He doesn't need to fight this at all. He can just, he can just retreat. Everyone, there's, no? Mechanics just pulling back. We're going to start seeing the uh, the town center getting taken down here as Matrius is going to pause. A little bit of lag going on for whichever reason here in this game. Apollo on the way for Demantis very, very uh, early. We aren't seeing any sort of upgrade to the Heroic Age uh, for, from, from, our, from our Ra player or from our Greek player over here. We'll see what the actual plan is going to be. I do think the best way to play this one from the perspective of the Egyptian player is to do like a one town center fast mythic. The same thing is going to be true for uh, for one of the uh, one of the Greek players. And we are seeing player doing what I I would actually describe this as normally incorrect, but I would assume that player has been feeding uh, squash here in this game. He's been feeding squash, so. He doesn't have the resources to jump through the ages like like everyone else can. So he's going to have to... We'll, we'll see what's going to happen here. He basically needs to get the economy out to, to hold on in this game as we do indeed see the ceasefire coming in over here as Matrius pulls back. 24 boats for Matrius to players 22. Still very, very equal over here. And we'll see what's going to happen as mechanics pulls back now we do see the double healing spring getting dropped over here it looks like squash doesn't even care he's like i'll put my healing spring here you put your healing spring there and we'll have a healing spring party right now as everyone's going to heal all the way back up to full hp here uh and we oh well, squash is getting wait squash is getting trapped squash gets trapped squash squash gets okay never mind <laughs> He almost got trapped. <laughs> Teared out on the way for Squash. Super fast. I'm surprised. Oh, I'm, I, I would say I'm surprised to see Tear here, but Tear makes the most sense because you hit everyone's economy and that's that's kind of everything. But Squash is going to hit that one first as he is just going to simply roam around the map here. And this is effectively forcing Mechanics to chase Squash here. Mechanics has to chase Squash here with his Hursa. Uh, and that's going to be everything. We do see that arrow ship cladding is on the way for Demantis. That will give a huge advantage over to Demantis in this game. So he's going to be very, very happy to push forward as soon as that finishes there. As we see Salt M4 and arrow ship cladding coming through for Mattress as well. Squash decided to turn around taking this fight. He does get a very, very nice concave over there. And he will be picking off one of those. Uh, so nice play. Uh, but we, do, we see a troll spawn. That's not, the, that's not the best. I actually think you should just delete that at this point. As Squash deletes for Hursa there for whichever reason, deciding for Hursa to be deleted there as we do see Curse getting dropped in onto this position here as uh, Player is going to be retreating away and we do indeed see Artemis coming through for Demantis really, really early here, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be absolutely huge. Uh, we see Apollo coming through for Player as Player is retreating back. Matrius is looking to move forward and grab this town center here. He doesn't want to be losing that. He needs this town center, this gold mine is going to be incredibly important here in this game as we see squash dropping his fimble winter wolves first here beautiful play by squash he gets that macro out perfectly gets that first uh first fimble winter down going to be turning around onto mechanics 
again and again here in this game as we're going to start seeing some forward builds coming through for mechanics we've got the uh, gold lion units in the middle of the map he's making slingers for whichever reason ladies and gentlemen as we do see matrius is now making a really really big push forward in order to take out all these fishing ships but is this going to work or not for f2 is the big question you're giving away the water for map control here effectively it's going to be very very big and we see gold lion dropping the rain down here to block that one beautifully squashes her so getting completely caught out we are seeing the villages of demandus needing to retreat back here i think the best play right now is going to be to cast earthquake first from demandus and then drop the uh and then drop the the, the Fimble Winter. You don't want to do that in the wrong order here uh, anymore as the Hursa are going to be pulling away from this location. Squash in a really, really strong position, but so too is Demantis moving forward. But we're now going to start seeing Gold Lion. He wants to grab this Town Center. This is incredibly risky. I'm not sure he's going to be able to grab this one here as Gold Lion. He's had to garrison all of his fishing ships. We see Squash having to garrison his fishing ships as well as for some reason, Gold Lion, well not for some reason, we talked about it. Heavy Tri has come through for Demantis. Hathor on the way now as this town center is not going to be going up anytime soon. We see Matrius coming in to help deny this one. We've got the military units of player moving in onto this location to help out. And we do see the flaming weapons, Fimble Winter, coming down straight away here from Mechanics. I think that's a small mistake there from UCA. They definitely should have dropped the Earthquake first, but... Uh, going for that Fimble Winter Flaming Weapons as soon as they possibly can. The army is going to be retreating away here for Squash. And we need to see Mechanics going for somewhere. And he is finding the gold mine here. The villagers are going to be retreating straight away there. Nice play by Squash to get away from that one. As Player is still pushing forward. Is there any chance that this uh, Town Center goes up here for, uh, for Gold Line? It looks like not really at this point. And we are still seeing an attempt to grab this Town Center in the middle here. Matrius is not yet able to get to the Mythic Age. But Player is going mid. Mythic Age here is up through Artemis. We do see the Earthquake getting dropped here on the main base of Squash hitting that one. Beautifully picks up a Battle Bore as well as the Town Center does go down. Meanwhile, these purple units all over the map looking for raids are distracting left, right, and center over here as this fight is still ensuring on this location. Player's army is very, very strong here. It might be worth it for mechanics to get over here and try and get a double or something, but Demantis is doing a very, very nice job on this position here as we do see a huge, huge locust getting dropped on here. That's so many dead villages. Beautiful, beautiful play there by Goldline. He's got such a bizarre army, but if he can get up through Hathor here, he's going to be able to get himself the, uh, the Axe of Vengeance, which will make these, these Axemen really really strong here uh, but these slingers what are they going to be doing here in in the near future as we do see siege works getting dropped the uh the migdal stronghold up for gold line he's got all of the villages here we see the army going to be retreating back ever so slightly here as the chiron comes through going to be trying to snipe down this rock over here the uh the hersa pushing it onto this position as those axemen trying to fight this one off but this is mythic age axemen against un sorry mythic age hersa against unupgraded unupgraded axemen the hersa might actually be able to win this fight here as we we do see a restoration getting dropped here and a fire giant spawn for mechanics here in this game as squash gets his town center back he's going to be moving back up onto this location he does have his own fire giants over here coming through player still managing to secure the majority of this location he's got a forward fortress down player has really found himself in an advantageous position against matrius moving forward here in this game beautiful play here we've got this town center going the wayside of play not only that we're going to have an artemis getting dropped somewhere an earthquake getting dropped somewhere as we don't see it just yet there is an earthquake up for player but he's holding on to it for some reason oh he's just hit the myth he's just hit the mythic age so he's obviously going to be looking to earthquake the loki player here most of the time as this location here getting defended nicely beautiful pharaoh placement here as we do see the earthquake getting dropped on this location going to be breaking everything here this is actually a really really smart play meanwhile continuing to push forward mechanics is he's nearly got fully upgraded her so just waiting on that um that iron weapon here whereas squash here he's still only at bronze male as the hersa pulling back ever so slightly mechanics is going to be able to continue to take this fight beautifully here as uh, matrius now pushing in we do see the chimera will move in onto this location and start taking those villages down with his fire breath their beautiful damage there the villagers have to all retreat back and matrius manages to prevent that town center from going the wayside of player here matrius is going to need some assistance moving forward here in this game or he will be having 
having some real big problems. We are seeing the, the Hippocon coming in onto the trade route of Demantis here as these are, this army of mechanics is continuing to make its ground here in this game. And the, the, the big difference is 42% hack armor to 50% hack armor here, ladies and gentlemen. This is absolutely huge. Squ uh, Squash's villages are now about to be under attack yet again as the Hursa are making their way over here to destroy those. The Hursa on this location are just not doing what they need to do. Squash are retreating back, going to be jumping into this town center. Mechanics is playing out of his mind in this game. Meanwhile, over here, we do see the Heliopolis able to start pushing through and take this fortress down. The fortress is coming up for Matrix. He's doing a great job of preventing player from getting to four town centers in this game here, ladies and gentlemen. As the, uh, the chariot archers continuing to come out here, we'll see how everything is going to continue along here as the town center looks like it will be falling for Squash here. Squash trying to retreat these villages over here. I don't think that Mechanics is going to care all too much. Killing this town center, getting it for himself is going to be absolutely gigantic as we see a couple of priests coming through here for Gold Lion to help out as the town center will indeed fall. Beautiful play here by mechanics moving forward we'll see if he's going to be able to continue uh with this beautiful play moving forward as it also kind of looks like player at this point has been ever so slightly pushed back as uh Matrius has gotten a really really strong army here dropping a second fortress is getting himself the polyphemus out and this is where the poseidon starts becoming very very strong all the building spam starts coming up getting the free units and everything else there as well meanwhile we do see uh mechanics now going straight up after Gold Lion's other town center, he sees the priest, he sees the pharaoh, he sees the time to retreat, and he's going away. Searching around the map, these villages of Squash looking very, very dubious here. As we see an earthquake getting dropped immediately onto that underworld there as the uh, Heliopolis is going to be able to take down the town center uh, pretty quick here. Squash is not anywhere to be seen with his army at this point as the Herso going after Mechanics' Herso does Squash. No, Squash still doesn't have the upgrade for, uh, for, the, for the iron weapon, uh, iron mail here. So Mechanics can very simply just retreat, uh, turn around and take this fight. But for some reason, he's deciding to retreat away here. And meanwhile, this uh, location here, we do see the Sentinels getting dropped on this spot here. But the Heliopolis is still absolutely huge here. It's going to be taking down all of these houses, causing so much problems here. As we see Demantis coming through on this front here, going to be looking to push in and kill off those villages here. It's going to be super, super important going forward here in this game. We see an Iron here spawn here as well. As not only that, now Mattress is grabbing having his third town center this game is in the balance and it's going the wayside of UCA at this point mechanics is playing out of his mind here in this game as the Hursa do get in onto those villages over there we are seeing the Ra starting to get into his element but is it too little too late in this game as the villagers retreating away these four Hursa are going to do absolute mayhem on the gold situation of Squash Squash going to be losing his house over here more houses are going to be coming up as Squash is doing his best but player right now he's in the back here he's got nothing remaining and he has to figure something out here he's, he's he needs he does have an underworld i should say there is an underworld and there is a shifting sands here for gold line so we'll see how things are going to be eventuating here in this game as the pharaoh retreats back and we'll see exactly if a gold line can hold here but this is a very very big hades versus a very very weak gold lion in a in a in, in the realest of senses here as we do see the underworld is coming through now for player where is he deciding to go is the big question and he is right here onto this location he's going to be going straight after mechanics we do see a ton of idle hippocon here that's six idle hippocon player not utilizing his idle military banner but the problem here is can player even hold this uh this push that matrius is putting on and will he be able to pick this off or not as mechanics not paying attention here he's going to be losing this town center incredibly fast he's got 14 villages which could take down those heliopolis really really quickly meanwhile it's continuing to push in onto this location here as we see the purple hersa coming back over here to help out we do see that these uh these uh these catapult here are trying to sneak through and take out this town center over here but it's not going to be uh happening very fast at all here uh, 
uh, as the Migdal Stronghold does get taken down, this location will get broken as the town center does end up falling here and we will be seeing a tornado getting dropped onto Mechanics' town center. There is no masons here, so this should very well get taken down and this is going to put a stop to the trade route of UCA for quite some time here. This is a really, really smart tornado coming through as that town center does fall here. We see the town center getting grabbed by player and player is going to be doing his best to get absolutely gigantic in this game as Matrius is trying to push through himself here. He's making some very, very slow progress here with his Heliopoli as, uh, I mean, two Heliopoli versus three Heliopoli. You do the math, but it looks like Gold Lion is falling in the middle of the map. This town center is going to uh, UCA UCA here, but now UCA have to pull back and deal with player. They have to get back here, otherwise there's going to be a very, very quick death of town centers coming through here. We do see the the masons coming through. The villages have been pulled by mechanics off here. We are now starting to see Squash coming through. Squash is in a very, very difficult position here. Uh, he's trying his darnness to stay in this game, but he can just move around, start throwing buildings down everywhere. He's chucking a temple up on this location. We see some walls there. The Herso do find some villages on this location. He'll be taking these ones down here at this point as the town center is up for uh, four player here as the Hurst are coming through to take these villages down right now. We've got 3-2-3 three, two, three town centers to 4-2-2, two, two, so it's still very, very close here. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see if uh, if F2 can figure out a way to get this town center back and uh, and get their footing in this game. Maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea for, for uh, Squash to just grab this town center, get back up to three town centers here as all of those Heliopoli do get taken down. Demand has got champion. Toxody as he moves through here. Mechanics is going to grab this town center back. It'll be completely fine here as we are seeing Matrius's push still being absolutely huge here. This Heliopoli is still pushing through. It looks like the town center is going to be uh, surviving for just a little bit longer here as the villagers repairing this one back up as best as they can. This Heliopoli here doing what it can, but uh, Matrius needs something else to make that final bit of damage done here. Is this Heliopoli will not, or Heliopolis, I should say, is not going to be enough in on this position. Meanwhile, this side build over here continuing to muster up here as Squash wants to put some real pressure onto his opponent over here. We see this town center attempting to come back up. But Mechanics says, no, not today, sir. My Herster will be killing your villagers and your villagers will need to retreat away from here. And that's just going to be the way the cookie crumbles here as Gold Lion pulls back and we'll see uh, if uh, Mechanics is going to be able to get up to four towns at five town centers here as the Heliopoli trying to clean up this town center over here as player pushes through with his units here as well. Meanwhile, this town center getting so awfully close to falling a handful of Petropolis coming in onto this town center as well as Matris does tear that one down. Player dropping down now to three towns and this is absolutely huge for UCA as now the Petropolis is going to be going after the Underworld Passage as well to deny that from continuing over here. Here, and Dumont is going to be able to clean this one up. We do see this town center getting uh, picked off here as well. As the villagers coming in over onto this gold mine, this lone Hursa of Squash trying to get a fire giant spawn or something onto that location would be absolutely huge. Uh, we are seeing player doing his best to keep this underworld passage alive, preparing it up with his villagers here. The town center trying to go back up for player, but I don't think that Mattress is ever going to allow this. He's starting to throw watchtowers down to solidify this position here. This is going to be absolutely huge for uh, for Matrius in this position to keep that town center down. We see the, uh, the settlement coming out for mechanics here as the uh, catapult starting to push through. We are seeing some mercenary spam coming through from Gold Lion to hold on to this one. But ladies and gentlemen, it's a team game. This game is not over just yet, but we are seeing a, uh, a, cheeky, a cheeky dropout of some variety here. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, no, it's still, we're still good. Matrius lagging. Okay, we'll see a pause probably here. Maybe, right? We'll just wait, we'll just wait. So let's just see what's actually going on in the base over here. We've got a huge trade route set up by Gold Lion. I think that there is a world here where F2 realizes that they need to go wonder if they want to win this game because they're losing on this front. They're losing over here. They've lost over, well, they've got this position back here for now. So this was Mechanics' town center here. So Gold Lion has done a good job of re-securing this position. 
but they also need to come over here and resecure this position because at this point, F2 is losing on uh, on just the, basically just losing on the on the top two fronts here at this point. We'll see yes. how it's all going to go as they say try, and we'll see if it's going to work here. Is uh, Matrius's internet is uh, a little bit funky, but it's it's decided to come back to 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 normal to, to normality here as these watchtowers are coming up very very fast here for Matrius on this position. We do see that Squash is still trying to get these side builds going on. This forward build here was taken down. There is one Squash uh, her, one squash Longhouse here as well as the uh, units are pushing through here, going to attempt to take down the, uh, the the Underworld Passage here. But unfortunately, this Heliopoli, uh, it's actually hitting the Fortress with half of its shots and the Underworld Passage with just the one shot here. And I think that this Underworld Passage here will be falling first as more Petropolis coming in to take it down the villagers trying to get in and repair this one back up as fast as they possibly can that's a ton of villagers on that underworld We've got 17 villagers trying to repair that underworld up here um as we do see a titan gate now coming down for gold line on this location we'll see how he's going to go here uh, if he can get that up or not oftentimes in these in these kind of wild team games it's very very tough but gold line he is also able to get this town center back up as squash has said look I am Loki in this game. You are Ra. You need this town center to spam mercenary. Just take the town center and see what we can do here. As Gold Lion is now under attack straight away as Mechanics coming through with all of his units. The units are almost finished up on this location. But look, Player is still putting pressure on over here. He's got the uh, he's got the Gash Defeaty to take down the fortified town center. The watchtowers coming up. He is an absolute thorn in the side of Mechanics here and UCA as this location is almost able to be thwarted here as he does finally Matris does finally take out players underworld here as the fortress is up on this location Matris will be able to grab this town center for himself and Matris is going to be able to continue pushing player back and player is not going to be able to continue with this push but he will be able to take down a final town center here uh, continuing to cause a lot of pressure on this location meanwhile the uh, mercenary coming out and there has been well I tell a light there has been a attempt here at a titan for the market so there's at least going to be one titan coming through for yuka to deal with the titan of f2 here in this game as that's going to come up very very quickly meanwhile another side build coming through for squash he's being completely unrelenting with these side builds trying to get in onto these positions he should think about throwing walls up as well as military buildings here as we do see a cheeky levy longhouse is coming through that allows your units to build even faster here as matrius is trying to push through onto this position we see an attempt from player to continue spamming buildings up but this is like nearly pure siege here this is going to be pushing through this very very fast here in the near future as, as the Petropolis are going to be getting taken down over here. And we'll see how things are going to go. There's the Titan Gate coming up for Demant. It's 60% of the way through for Gold Line. Generally speaking, it's too hard for a Titan to traverse the entirety of the map and get onto the enemy Titan Gate because of path blocking and all the other good stuff that is possible here. And now we see Matrius saying, Look, you can side build, so can I, as he's going to throw down a a bunch of towers here going for uh <laughs> going for eight towers on this position nine towers on this position to block that trade route off beautiful play meanwhile walls coming up over here towers coming up still no champion infantry through for squash but he's getting himself squine array and uh, everything else here for those old sucks to make them incredibly strong he's got four setting he's got Bragi, he's got uh, Tia, so he can get absolutely massive here with those Olsark uh, in the late game. But these towers are going to be very, very uh, annoying to deal with as the Mountain Giant comes through. is going to be cleaning up this location here as well. And it looks like finally the uh, the, the side build here of player has been dealt with. We see some Olsark coming through onto this location. Going to attempt to deal with this one as best as he possibly can as the villagers are coming through to throw up some towers here as well. The villagers can pick off the guard towers relatively quickly here with their bonus damage we are seeing a uh, a player chimera going to come over here and try and deal with that as well as we see the titan has jumped out here gold lion is starting to get into his own element spamming those mercenary out on this position he's getting towers up all over the place and this game is looking still very much in the balance though 
Matrius, he is making uh, he is making his way through player right now, and player he's going to be having a difficult time of it in the near future. As we do see Matrius now coming in onto this position with his champion units coming in to sit here and take down this trade route absolutely beautifully here. Do we see any more villagers moving forward? Yes, we do. These villagers are speedy as well. They've got themselves divine blood to get in here as this uh, side build here from Squash is continuing to be very, very annoying he needs to get over here as well to complete the trade route block here but that being said Matrius can trade forward here and so too can uh you uh demantis and mechanics trade forward if they so choose as we are now starting to see the titan moving forward onto this position these are hersa though hersa are actually really really good against the titan uh oh because it's a myth unit as we are going to be seeing a little bit of damage coming through here you can see how little damage the titan actually does do here as the Battle Board attempting to take down this Migdal Stronghold. Uh, meanwhile, the towers have been dealt with over here, whereas the army of Matrius has been cleaned up. More fortress coming through onto this position as Matrius is just aside. Let me just continue to push through here and see how that goes. As this, uh, as these old Sark is still coming through, let's check out the upgrades here. Nearly every upgrade here, he just needs to get Swine Array, uh, Salt, uh, Swine Array, Call of Valhalla, and Berserker Gang. And then these old Sark, they can just be incredibly, incredibly strong here. As Gold Lion retreating back ever so slightly away from that Titan here, going to attempt to put some pressure on to Gold Lion, taking uh, the L on that Town Center in an attempt to grab this one down. But we do see Guard Towers are up for Gold Lion here as he's pumping those out everywhere. Where here we see Gold Lion grabbing a town center, not town center, a Migdol stronghold on this position over here as well. As the Titan is still making a very, very slow pathway over onto this town center for one way or another. As the Chiron getting so much damage there, we are seeing a Iron here coming in onto this position. And the Titan is now just about, uh, where is it? Where is he? I can't see the Titan because it's, a, it's, it's yellow. So the Titan for Demanders is making its way over here and will be able to take down Gold Lion's Titan very, very fast. But if, uh, for some reason, it's just, uh, it's very much struggling here. Can it make it through? It, just delete the archery range. <laughs> <laughs> you see the Titan getting lower and lower on HP here. Ladies and gentlemen, this Titan is getting taken down by pure Hursa, it would seem, uh, from the perspective of mechanics here, as this uh, this side build is still getting thrown up by Squash. He's starting to make portal rams, putting pressure onto Matrius, as Matrius is trying his hardest to push through here. And the big question uh, of it all is going to be, can Matrius hold in his base while pushing through here? and uh and all of that good stuff but we are seeing yet again just a little bit of lag here from mattress we'll see if that sorts itself out as uh the titan here for gold Lion does decide to turn around he gets one shot free for demandus but demandus's titan's got so much more hp here in this game as that titan is about to fall here ladies and gentlemen as Demantis is going to find a little bit of an advantage here to push through and take out all these towers, take out this fortified town center and find a very, very sizable advantage moving forward here in this game. Uh, as we do see more buildings are getting taken down. We also see portable rams getting built here. Siege Engineers comes through for Squash. Squash is making this two town centers work beautifully here. Put this pressure on uh, to this location here as it looks like Matrius ever so slightly getting pushed back on this location here where, where is he going with his with his stuff i don't see it we do see six oh, we see a wonder coming out for gold lion i was telling you this is kind of the best play here for f2 in this game a wonder getting dropped now you do have to be really careful this wonder is not in the best spot would have been better to drop the wonder right in the back of um of gold of uh of squash's base here nice and close to this town center but over here because you can transport ship drop and then take this town center down but the wonder is coming up there is still a titan up for demantis however so you still have to deal with that and we'll see if this is going to be able to be a problem or not here as heavy infantry coming through for mechanics uh pretty late in this game so each of the titans is coming through for player so each of the titans is coming through for uh it looks like mechanics here as well 
as Squash continuing to put pressure onto this location over here. He's going to start taking down the town center over here as Demantis is looking like he's pushing through, cleaning up this side build that uh, Squash has thrown in here. Squash making a really, really good job of his population to, to really slow down his opponents here. The hill fort is going to be coming up. We see the Petropolis coming through here to try, try and take down all of those longhouses as well. The Titan does manage to take down this town center as he has now got his eyes set on potentially getting through here and killing off this wonder at this point there's the titan gate coming through for mechanics exactly what you need to do convert your old sark into uh sorry your villagers into old sark push yourself above the population cap uh and make that work there really nicely as we're going to see the demantis titan continuing to come through here the wonder is up and we'll see what if gold line can even hold this against that initial titan pressure or not it's got 1740 hp as that stone gate does come through here throw some more walls over here my friend drop some buildings really really try and delay this titan from getting into your base but uh, we'll see how it's all going to go we are still seeing mattress trying to push through into this location player is defending nicely here we do see some uh, attempt at some walls over on this location over here the uh, side build of squash is just about uh cleaned up here as it has taken a hot minute but the town center falls nice play by squash managing to sneak that one down i doubt it will stay down for very long as a temple coming up over on this position here uh, but the Titan's still trying to get in here. We do see some uh, granary uh, kind of ghost buildings here trying to block this one off as best as he possibly can. But look at this, 1,000 HP here. This might be enough. We do see the uh, donkey caravans coming through to path block this. And one priest is and a couple of, and a handful, excuse me, one priest and a handful of her, sir, may not be enough to take this Titan down. But it looks like with a couple more priests coming through here, this one might be uh, might be able to get taken down. We've got ourselves two Titan Gates coming up here. We've got Squash's Titan Gate. We've got uh, players Titan Gate. We've got the Titan Gate coming up of mechanics here as well as Demantis's Titan is going down. And this is absolutely huge for uh, absolutely huge for F2. They've got eight minutes and 27 seconds remaining here. We see a very big wall coming up on this shore. Absolutely love that by gold line. You've got to be super aware that you, you can't be allowing anything to drop on this side and attack this wonder. This is exactly what he needs to do. Do we see any attempt at a transport ship? We do. That is an amazing, amazing transport ship there by player. He's sneaking onto the back base here. He's making gas graffiti. He's going to be attempting to take down this Titan Gate from afar here. We'll see if he's going to be able to do that. At this point, as we do see a guard tower coming up by Demantis over here as well, just to check out what's going on. And he will be seeing the uh, the gas graffiti over here. Meanwhile, this position is also slightly getting pushed back here as Matrius gets himself back up to four town centers and he's a little bit out of position, but the Gash Graffiti are getting huge amounts of damage done onto this town center. They do so much damage here. He's got six of them as they're slowly starting to get taken down, but he's not uh, targeting them all onto this town center at this point. He might be, a player might be able to take this down at this point as the Polyphemus coming through here to get some good damage done. What is the play here for team... Uh, what is the play here for Team UCA is the big question. I would love to see a Shifting Sands onto one of these onto one of these titans here just shifting sands over here get yourself some some catapult or something shifting sands like 15 or oh, not 15 catapult but five or six catapult onto this location over here you're going to be able to see it with the uh with the gash graffiti and then you're going to be able to take this titan down or at least delay it for a for a little bit longer here but it looks like uh it looks like mechanics is titan is going to be through squashes titan is going to be through as well this this titan going to be through for player player might be able to use that time to actually push through as he does manage to take this town center down as we do see a titan coming through for matrius right now so it's going to be everyone having everyone's going to have a titan it's just a big titan game here as these town centers on the front look like they have been taken down matrius is pushing through this location over here demantis has the catapult heliopolis come through the towns and are getting grabbed by mechanics for whichever reason i mean that's just the only one with units here i guess so grabbing this town center makes a lot of sense as more buildings coming up here six minutes and 15 seconds remaining on this one here 
as the portable ram coming through to take down the granary. This town center is getting up very, very fast here. As we see more buildings coming down by UCA, they know exactly the way to play this. They've got to keep the building spam. It is a slow push, but you have to slow push here and get in onto this uh, wonder over here. Look at the walls, the towers, everything here coming up for Gold Lion as more buildings up on this location over here. It might be worth it for Gold Lion to like delete some of these villages now and make some actual army, get some spearmen out to destroy the enemy uh, enemy units and everything else there. Uh, but we are starting to see more siege coming through to break down these walls on this position here. More walls coming up here for Gold Lion. Five minutes and 30 seconds left on the Wonder of Gold Lion. We've got the double Titans now out for player and for squash. We'll see what the actual plan is with this one here as this Titan is just about up for mechanics. Yes, it does get through. Beautiful play. There's another Titan for mechanics. The Titan over here now just starting to come through for Matrius here. And we'll see Ken, Gold Lion, and Team F2 hold here against this unrelenting uh, combined effort here from Team UCA here in this game. We see the villagers coming through here for Matrius trying to continue to get these things up. We've got so, much, so many siege here, so much siege here to push through these buildings in on this location as Squash has got a ton of Ulfsark in onto this position, both Mechanics and Squash. Mass Ulfsark player needs to be over here, but he is still trying to push through on this location for whichever reason. Player needs to be over here. We do see Squash's Titan coming through onto this spot here. We'll see what his plan is going to be with said Titan uh, at this point. Obviously, just tying... Just, just using it to pick off the enemy units is going to be a really smart move here as well. Four minutes, 22 seconds remaining. Fair empowering the wonder as well. More towers coming up on this position for player as the units trying to push through. These buildings are absolutely huge for Goldline. He's going to have himself Architects and Sun-Dried Mud Brick to hold everything, but the catapults are in, doing tons of damage. We see these Heliopoli coming through as well. The Titans, not actually the best at dealing with these uh, Heliopoli here, but the Ulfsark are coming through for Squash. We see players still attempting to break through on this location to grab this town center for himself. These towers are getting taken down. Matrius doing his best to hold that spot there as the uh, as the temple is going to be getting cleaned up. We see an attempt here from player to throw up some building series. This temple is going to be going down. The villagers coming through to start shanking as best as they possibly can. We've got three minutes and 35 seconds remaining here as the Titan of Mechanics going to be going straight after the Titan of Player. And now we see the, the portable lambs coming through here getting a ton of damage done as Demantis moving his own Heliopoli in onto this position. We see a, a random monument to the gods getting thrown up over here. More walls need to get thrown back up for Gold Lion to hold on here. It looks like Mechanics is Titan is going to be winning this fight pretty handily because of all of those portable rams doing so much damage here as we see another Titan is now up for Matrius as this Titan for Squash attempting to break through on this location. He is currently stuck here as the mining camp might need to get deleted or something as Mechanics is going to be able to break down the, the gate over here. Two minutes, 48 seconds remain, remaining. Delete those farms and get more buildings uh, to surround this location here as the Titan is still breaking through over here. Squash is not able to move this big fat boy well at all as he's trying to break through on this position over here. We see the uh, granaries coming up to delay this as much as they possibly can here. The, the Migdal Stronghold is going to be getting taken down as well here and more military units more siege coming through two minutes 20 seconds remaining f2 putting everything into holding this location over here as a squash moving through as best as he can but meanwhile look at this player is grabbing town center over here player is grabbing town center over here this game is not even over once this push f finishes here ladies and gentlemen the titan here now moving over squash is titan joining the fight here going after the enemy of uh, the enemy mechanics titan right now the old start coming through for squash able to take down all of these heliopoli one minute 50 seconds remaining on this wonder over here is the titan coming through for matrius what is he doing with this one beautiful path blocking coming through from player here as this titan is completely idle here and it looks like the push has been thwarted for the time being here uca is out of resources player is absolutely
absolutely insane here in this game, somehow managing to take down all of these town centers. And we've got a minute remaining on this town center. One minute, 24 seconds, one Titan alive for Mattress. If he can get over here and deal with this, he should be okay. We see the towers getting all thrown up by Squash here. And look at this. We've got ourselves a 10 Heliopoli dropship coming in, but he is going to be greeted by a wall of walls over here as Demantis spots it and he goes, oh, oh dear. How do I get through here? He breaks down one wall. There's a second wall. There's a third wall. There's a fourth wall. We see a shifting sands getting dropped here by a gold lion to take away a couple of those Heliopoli as well. And in that moment, you can't decide it's lost. There's no way through. And F2 managed somehow, some way to make it work in this game. 45 minutes, 15 seconds here, ladies and gentlemen. The tributing on this game is unreal. 47,000 resources tributed, ladies and gentlemen. And let's be real, this game was player through and through the underworld passage onto this location the the the, the pushing mattress back all by himself getting this location under control for himself Ma player deciding look i'm gonna be trying to put pressure everywhere else and try and keep my uh keep my my team alive here in this game he sacrifices everything to make this underworld work and then he comes back here with a transport ship he sends a villager over here to build or dock and build a transport ship send in on this location drop here get the archery rangers takes down the town centers while his team is trying to get this wonder up pure genius from player here in this game uh, everyone played immaculately here i don't even know what to look at this is just such an, a ridiculous ridiculous game here apparently matrius had a hundred and six a hundred and sixteen civilian units at some point i don't think that's that can't be true no 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 hundred and hundred and hundred and sixty one 161 gold line wait <laughs> well actually makes sense let's be real that makes sense let me let me explain why this makes sense. So Gold Lion has gone to 160 uh, population in villages. Why? Because Squash has got zero villages, and Gold Lion is simply just feeding player. Sorry, feeding Squash for the entirety of this game because he, he doesn't need villages. Just the, the Egyptian villages are going to be much more more useful in the trade route. And you can just continue to feed squash it. I mean, I don't even know what to say. This game was absolutely insane. If you guys enjoyed this one, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next game.